Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another ep of Trail Talks. Um, this is actually my second ride today. I rode some pirates at the other side of Toowoomba and now we're out here at Mount Peel. Just doing, gonna do a quick ride to the very peak and then smash her down on the, one of the main trails, I think. And um, yep, there he is, there's the magpie. Thought he was coming. Took his time though. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. What's on the agenda today? Um, not really too sure. Got a few things planned. Magpie picks his zone, I guess. And he'll sweep me for the next 100 meters and then probably leave me alone until I come back down. <laughs> Generally, he doesn't sweep people without a helmet <laughs> but um you know oh, it's just this time of year <laughs> so uh yeah i guess just try and get this pedal out of the way and get some fun downs one thing you gotta be mindful of as we come into this more warm weather it is october 1st today and um, the biggest problem with the end of September, beginning of October, is the snakes will start showing themselves again. And although it's still quite rare, oh, what's this? Ooh, a little rock roll. Although, yeah, it's quite rare to still see snakes on the trails here. This is like peak, peak time to see them. So, definitely got to be careful, especially out here at Mount Peel, it's pretty damn snake ridden. Just used to see them, you know, in summer, pretty much every year, at least see a couple. See them from the big dogs, the, the browns, not sure what, yeah, whether they're a taipan or a eastern brown, whatever they are, <laughs> they're scary. <laughs> Yeah, amazing looking creatures though, like yeah, the gold colour is pretty cool, they're very shiny. I actually seen one at White Rock not long ago when I rode there on the way out. There was a um, big brown, he would have been over two metres on the road and he scurried off the road and I slowed down next to him because I could just see him in the bush and he stood up looked at me and took off but damn what a what an incredible looking creature you never want to get too close obviously some of the most dangerous snakes in the world are right here in Australia and these big sunny areas are where you'll see them the most you get the sun bathe in so no, I've also seen a couple red bellies out here another dangerous snake not as dangerous as the brown but if you get hit you're going to be quite sick and there is potential death of course but you got to be pretty damn unlucky if um, these snakes are rearing up at you then obviously you've come onto their turf I guess or you've cornered them and they feel like their only way out is to fight generally I've never had a snake rear up at me I remember when I was young probably around 10 or 11 years old but, uh, this was up north where I used to live in North Queensland near Townsville um, we used to live in uh, we were caretakers of the BMX track in the Burdekin and um, the toilet block it was mostly all concrete and there was a big brown in there big brown and obviously we need to get him out and it was cornered and only really oh here's a snake track here <laughs> and I only really realised how dangerous snakes were now and I only remembered the story now 
but um, <laughs> my dad was trying to get him out of there and this thing was clearly cornered in like a toilet block corner and it was rearing up and it was chasing him <laughs> and I'll never forget that <laughs> this thing was chasing him chased him for a while too and then eventually took off into the bush <laughs> oh wasn't that, wasn't that a crazy crazy memory but as I'm riding right here I can see quite a few what look like snake tracks but you never know if there are actually snake tracks there could be saguana tail which is the most likely answer however I have come across quite a lot of snakes on this trail in particular it's coming up the climbing trail a bit further up and it was a bit bushy back then a bit more overgrown I come around the corner in climb gear of course a big brown right on my right he jumped up and took off must have heard me till last minute because yeah, generally they take off much earlier and you don't see them <laughs> But yeah, didn't that scare the shit out of me? <laughs> he was a big guy, really thick, probably thickness of my forearm. <laughs> and every time I go through that spot, I'm always worried. <laughs> but yeah, just gotta be mindful of snakes. But not, not scared enough to not ride your bike, you know? Encountering a big snake is very rare. Generally only happens to me maybe two or three times a year. So yeah. <laughs> we are at the top, the actual peak of Mount Peel here in the middle. There's three peaks. This one where I am right now. Um, there's the rocky one over the other side, which you've seen in a few videos of me riding down some rocks and stuff. And then um, the third peak is probably about half the size of this one and it's uh no you can't really see it but uh, i like riding up here every ride just because it adds uh, a bit to the ride and i like going through some of this rock stuff this um bit of a rocky trail here is called it's tricky and i think it's uh well, I know it's not a proper mountain bike trail, but it just adds a bit of difference to the ride, you know. Definitely gives a little bit more tech techiness to the trail. So yeah, this is the peak. As you can see a pretty big view. And we've got a little sign here that talks about everything that we can see in the distance Rangeville, Picnic Point, Mount Lofty, Mount Connor and the Bunya Mountains which is so far away there's no way you can see it but um yeah let's start our descent here I think I was just going to do a main run down uh, the uh, main trail here I don't think I'll do the tech one, I'll probably just go straight down the blue trail called uh, Dala. It's um, good fun, obviously, you've seen it a lot on the channel, and it's always a great ride. It's always changing too because of how uh, I don't know how loose everything is. There's always rocks in random spots that keeps you on your feet, keeps you on your toes, and you've always got to be a bit wary of what's coming up on the trail and now that it's peak snake season <laughs> just adds even more even more wildness to the ride so this fire road is pretty gnarly as well all right let's get into Darwin the descent try to do just a simple ride Nothing too crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Jump that in another 
video on Insta. I had a big snap back there. I'm not doing it today though. <laughs> yeah, alright. Get smacked by these sticks. Looks like it's been cleared back a little bit. Which is great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big tails up here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Only a real loose through here. Real slippy, but I don't really know what your tyres can handle. Of course. Is that back there? Looks like a snake or something. But anyway. <laughs> Woo, real loose through that corner. This trailer used to be so fast, now it's a lot more technical. It used to also be a green. Oh, that's um, geez. Oh, snake trail right over there. In. Yeah, that corner is wild now. Holy. I mean, the faster I'm going, the less likely I'll get hit by a snake, right? <laughs> oh. There's a jump here, I probably won't be able to clear. Oh, yeah, should be right. Oh. Right off the chunky. Chunky for this. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Good size. I got a bit of oh, a little bit of uphill. A bit of blood on my arm as well. So I must have hit something. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know what that's, that's from. See quite a lot of skippies around still, not that. You'll be able to see them on camera, but... Oh, it's got a bug in the eye. I'm not wearing my glasses, which is dumb. All right, more chunky stuff. We're almost back at the, uh, the magpie zone. Let's get a bit flowy through here. A couple big jumps coming up as well, but they're not doing too well. Bad. <laughs> that one's always good. Oh yeah, she's up. She is wrong. Down here. Definitely fast. Oh no, here we go, magpie territory. Where is he? he? Hasn't come yet. We're pretty much at the bottom now. Anyways, he has to be close. <laughs> one more jump up here, which is probably the best one. Nice. All right. Jeez. Hey, yeah, magpies. Blacking today. He missed me getting out of the car and now he's uh, missing me out the end here. What's going on? Yeah. Whew. Righto legends, that is another Trail Talk episode complete. Here at uh, my local today, Mount Peel. If you want to ride it, um, check Trail Forks and there should be a link below this video to get you there. And um, yeah, it's always good fun here. Um, never a problem. I'm pretty keen to ride some new stuff though soon. So um, yeah, anyways. Um, be careful of snakes. Watch out for the snakes this um, coming snake season, which is in fine form at the moment. I've seen a few, but not today. Luckily, I thought I would, but it's currently 2 p.m. as well, which is, I don't know, I've seen them in the arbors more often than now. So, yeah, anyways, like this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and if you're liking the trail talk videos, which are just raw, talking shit, you know, that type of stuff, let me know in the comments, because it looks greatly appreciated Whenever someone, um, you know, lets me know I'm doing 
good stuff and they like it. So yeah, anyways, peace guys. Thanks.